meetings, Triss. Have you lost your mind? You went after Inlareth by yourselves? To the Sabbath? How could you put Siri in danger? Come on, we came out of it fine. Can't say the same for Imlareth. That's the sole comfort I find in this. But it's no justification. You know what might have happened? Yeah, but I'd never let Siri come to any harm. You know that. Shouldn't have. I'm sorry. It ended well, luckily. But it didn't have to. I know, but Imlareth's gone. That's what matters. Siri had to do it. I couldn't let her go alone. You'd have done the same in my boots. Besides, I'd never let anything happen to Siri. You know that. Past burning pyres on the way into town. Non-humans on them. Things grow worse by the day. No mage is left in the city, so the hunters had to find someone else to victimize. We need to resolve everything as quickly as possible and leave Novigrad. Any success with the launch? Anyone out there willing to help? It doesn't look good. Ida outright refused, while Francesca won't budge from her little realm with a war raging. We don't know about Frangilla. Haven't been able to contact her. Yen and I rescued Margarita. I know. Dandelion set her up in a room upstairs. She's resting, slowly recovering. What about Kira and Philippa? Kira? We don't know about Fringilla. Haven't been able to contact her. And the others? Kira, Margarita, Philippa? Kira? I thought you of all people would know. Few can refuse a sorceress. And Kira Metz certainly had her ways. But when she demanded the Mage Alexander's notes, I had to turn her down. Kira needed that, as she needed the impetus to start anew. She found it where she least expected to. Years later, known for discovering the cure for the Catriona Plague, she was thankful none remembered her time in hiding as a village witch. Not seen worse matches. Hope things work out for them. And I hope things work out for us, and we find Philippa and Rita. Did a little investigating. Learned some interesting things. Namely? Want the long or the short version? I've seen worse matches. Hope things work out for them. I hope they work out for us, and we actually find Philippa and Rita. We will. We have to. I'll rest easier when they're both here, with us. Know where they are? Yennefer's looking into Rita's whereabouts. I have to figure out where Philippa is. Know what Yen's found out? You'll need to ask her. I've been busy trying to find Philippa. So, learn anything? A few things that could be interesting. Prefer the long version or the short? Guess. In short, she was here. At this inn, under our noses the whole time. Transformed, seated on her perch with a dimeridian band on her leg. Zoltan's owl? Mm-hmm. So why isn't she here anymore? Because Zoltan lost her in a card game a few days ago. Tell me everything. I want the details. After fleeing Loch Muin, Philippa ended up here in Novigrad. She sought help from her former lover, the sorcerer Arthur de Vlister. De Vlister rings a bell. Philippa had made a fool of him once. Arthur was out for revenge. He convinced her she'd be safest as an owl. She transformed, and he placed a dimeridian band on her leg. The mage hunt started shortly afterwards. Sadly, Arthur fell victim. They auctioned off his estate. It just so happened a certain dwarven acquaintance of ours stumbled on the auction. Sultan. Huh. So Philippa was here, under our noses the whole time? Was, precisely. Zoltan lost her in a card game a few days ago. Kidding, right? Sadly, no. Yep, that's Zoltan for you. 
A man showed up here, fleeced Zoltan Bear, then proposed they play for the owl. Naturally, he won, then politely thanked Zoltan for the game and left. Who was it? Know where he lives? He's not from here. No one knows him. Great. We got any leads? We have this. That Philippa the Owl's feather? Thinking divination? Specifically hydromancy, and a form of sortilege. We need a fountain where we won't be disturbed. One outside the Passiflora could work. Good idea. Let's go. We're here. Nice and quiet. Shouldn't be any disturbances. Let's begin. Need to take care of something first. Meet you somewhere later? Fine. The fountain outside the passive floor. And hurry, please. Sure you weren't followed? Yeah. Let's begin. Observe the water's surface carefully. We can't let anything go unnoticed. Graham, et Fleer, Robert Michele, all failed. What's that? Uh, nothing. A preliminary image. What? Stop interrupting, I have to focus. Graham et Thuir, de Agnes Kerle, es Pirchena a es Kleis. Looks familiar. A bathhouse. I know the place. Dijkstra. He has her. At his bathhouse. Might have guessed as much. That was the recent past. Anything might happen to her in Dijkstra's hands. Let's go. Not so fast. The first image. What was that? Nothing. Really. Don't brush me off. I know how hydromancy works. Image appeared because you're thinking about it. It was... Uh, King Tancred asked me to become his court advisor in Kavir. You mentioned Kavir in the lighthouse. I understand why now. Generous offer. Hope you took it. You mentioned Kavir in the lighthouse. I understand why now. Huh. Hope you turned him down. I didn't. I said yes. Triss, these last few months, they've really taught you nothing? You mentioned Kavir in the lighthouse. I understand why now. Did you accept? Only a fool would refuse. Tancred's been supportive of the mages from the start. The evacuation was only possible with his help. Now he wants to revive the Council and the Conclave, and I'm to head both. You deserve it. Best decision Tank would ever made. Thank you. I hope I can rise to the task. You will. With you leading it, the Council might actually do some good, start helping people. It's a great opportunity. Congratulations. You don't exactly sound thrilled. Bit worried, that's all. You really ready to dive into politics again? I wasn't sure at first. Ultimately, though, it's something I've always dreamed of. The dream's within reach now. I'm not about to let it go. Tancred's picked a strange battle. All the North's hunting down mages, and he's out to revive the Council? These are troubled times, and Tancred could be alone in remembering that mages are a powerful force. And that we know how to show gratitude. The vision was of a house, not a royal court. It's the house that awaits us in Pont Vanis.
When we're done here, when all this is over, once we've defeated the hunt and Ciri's safe, I'd like us to live there, together. I don't know, Triss. The life of a witcher, it's no fairy tale. But I like being on the path, sleeping under the stars, waking up with dew on my face. We talked about this, remember? In the lighthouse? I'm not asking you to sacrifice anything. You're not cut out to be a courtier, I know that. You can set out on the path whenever you want, for however long you want. It's just, you'll have somewhere to come home to. Always used to be Kaer Morhen. House in your vision looks a lot cozier. I'm surprised. Don't really know what to say. You don't need to decide right away, but I'm glad you know. I was afraid how you'd react. It's a big deal. Resettling to a permanent home? If you don't want this, I'll turn it down. What I really want is to be with you. To, to be together, and... Triss. Yes? We'll be together. And you don't need to turn anything down. Guess you've got everything planned out. You don't like it? I like it. A lot. Tell you the details later. Right now, we need to get Philippa. Right. Come on. Yes, Geralt? Your earring. Am I right? Wait a second. Yes. Lost it years ago. Where did you find it? Kaer Morin. In a bed. You know the one. Ah, yes. The good old days. I ever tell you you're beautiful when you blush? Mm-hmm. Back then. Like I said, the good old days. All my favorite earrings. I can wear them again now that I have both. Thanks, Geralt. So, there you were in Putrid Grove, and out of nowhere I show up. What did you think? Honestly? Oh no, not him again. <laughs> Figured as much. You weren't easy to find, you know. You'd recovered your memory. Found Yennefer, so... Naturally... I thought the two of you... But it turned out my amnesia changed nothing. Wanted to be with you, before... Deering, after, always. I know that now. So long, Triss. Guess they underestimated Philippa. You were right. She must have changed back into human form. Quick! I sense strong magic. We have to get inside. Surrender! This place is a maze, witch! You'll never get out! We'll handle this. Oh no, no, no! The sorceress stays here! 
Stay here, Tris, in case she tries to flee this way. Be careful. She might be blind, but she's still dangerous. And don't hurt her. We're going together. Not a chance. It's fine, Geralt. I'll stay. In case she tries to flee this way. Fine. Be right back. Geralt, there's no time. Follow her. Well, get going. Damn, she cast a spell on them. Your master now. You're to protect me, understood? But stand under. Stand here and let no one pass. But here stand. None past go. No past go. Bertie, Bertie, no say. Damn it, cast a spell on him too. I need her. Gotta catch her. Bertie won't know you. Her catch. Get out of my way before things get unpleasant. But 
No can do, but promise. You asked for it. that I want to help her burden no past go say but no let past go <sighs> ever had a stomach ache mm. ache I but once old drowner eat her stomach aches like she just ate a hundred old drowners but no one Drowner make egg very bad. Let me pass. I can help her. Mm. But let past go. Which uh, help? He go. He. Want to help you? Help me die. Don't hold your breath. I heard of rabid trolls. Squirming. If I wanted to kill you, you'd be long dead by now. What do you want? To torment me? To watch others do so? I need your help.
betray me, and I will... Relax. Not planning on it. Triss is outside. She'll explain everything. Deepest apologies, but the lady will come with me. Dijkstra, I don't have time for this. Get out of my way. I've no quarrel with you, Geralt, but Phil and I have lots to talk about. Remember the assassins you sent after me, darling Phil? A grave error. Such matters ought to be handled personally, as I will now demonstrate. I like you, Dijkstra. Don't make me hurt you. Save your threats for the rats that run about the port. They don't make the slightest impression on me. Not gonna demonstrate a damn thing. I need her. And I don't give a flying fuck. I've awaited this moment forever, so very sorry, but I care as much about your plans as I do about the snows of Mahakam. I remember you, little Bond, but this is no time for a lover's quarrel. But it's an excellent time to settle a score. Philippa will come with me and answer for all the courtesies she's paid me. Sorry, can't let that happen. No, 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 my leg! Sorry to take so long, but I had to deal with the guards. Hello, Triss. Philip, are you alright? I've been better. I'll get you out of here. Gonna be alright? Yeah, thanks for your help. Always knew the value of information, Dijkstra. Which is why I don't believe you have anything I don't already know. The Emperor of Nilfgaard wasn't able to sway the Train Corporation. Opposition nibbling at his ass, eh? Hmm. Seems the White Flame won't dance on the graves of his foes much longer. His daughter has returned. The Emperor wants to abdicate, give her the throne. Cyrilla? Impossible. This... This could shift the tide of war. Provided, of course, you're not mistaken. Time will tell if I am or not. Except if you are talking bollocks and I swallow it whole, well, it'll be too late. Guess you gotta take that risk. Emperor himself told me. So, information's first hand. Emir's a lying whore. When it comes to his daughter's future, doubt it. You've no idea of the importance of this information. A change on the Imperial throne could bring the war to an end. Radovid's sure to be delighted. If Amir sounds the retreat, there'll be no force left that could possibly stop that madman. Especially in light of our bloody aborted plan. You didn't actually believe you could do it. Radovid's crazy, but he's no idiot. Knows all too well there are dozens out there who'd... Silence. Do I understand you correctly? You want to kill Radovid? <laughs> well, Ziggy, I am impressed. Doubted you still had it in you, frankly. Sadly, as you well know, Radovid has sought refuge on his boat. He's guarded so closely, I'd not be at all surprised to learn he shares his bed each night with two sentries. You know too much, Phil. Yet one more reason why you must die. Dijkstra, Philip is not gonna die. We're done discussing that. Forget about it. Situation's changed, Witcher. She's in a position now to foil my plans. 
Do you really think I will run to warn the man who gouged my eyes out? I think you might want to hear her out. Dare say Philippa despises Radovid at least as much as you do. I'm content someone apart from myself has finally gotten the idea to rid the world of the degenerate. Save your praise for others. I couldn't give a shit. Currently, only two individuals stand to draw Radovid off his boat. Emir and myself. You'd agree to be the bait? I fear you'd be hard-pressed to convince Emir to dangle himself as such. Fat fucking chance. Geralt, I wouldn't trust this cunt to hard-boil my eggs. Rightly so, I'm terrible with eggs. But think on this. Radovid hears that you've captured me. Will he not throw caution to the wind? Will he not jump at the chance to kill me, personally, with his bare hands? Out of the question! Geralt, get her out of here before I burst her testicle! And then... Then we must meet with our friends. I've leased a warehouse port side. Be sure to come. Sorry to take so long, but I had to deal with the guards. Hello, Triss. Philip, are you alright? I've been better. I'll get you out of here. Gonna be alright? Yeah. Thanks for your help. These days, wars, wars everywhere. Which? Yes, Geralt. So long, Triss. 